Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm gonna teach you a way to see your swing flaws. That's right. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if you knew where the ball was going, how far off line it was going, so then you could actually fix your golf swing? If you don't know how you have flaws in your swing, then why would you fix it? Well, <laughs> this is a great way to know where the ball's going, so then you can fix your swing into the future. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, then click on the red button to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips. And please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. In this tip, I'm talking again about alignment being the most important lesson in golf. All right, so I know you would think it would be impact or something like that. It is alignment, okay? And I'm gonna prove that to you in a couple seconds because a week or so ago, one of our staff members here wanted to work with me on his swing. So he came over to me and I said, okay, well, let me just film your swing so I have a before swing. So I gave him my seven iron and I got him to hit a few shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you those four swings that he made, okay? Once you see those four swings, you will understand why alignment is the most important lesson in golf. All right, let's take a look. All right, so... It took him all of four shots to totally wreck his golf swing. Why am I saying wreck his golf swing? You saw the first three, he was squarely aligned. Three balls went over here. Because visually, he saw the three balls pulling severely, what did he do to fix his swing? He aimed way over here. Now, as soon as he did that, he is going to totally wreck his alignment. Now, he has to keep coming over the top to hit a straight shot. Why would he ever fix his swing? If he fixed his swing, he's aimed like this, he's coming over the top. You stop coming over the top, where is he going to hit the ball? He's going to hit it into those rocks over there. So you know what he thinks? That's a terrible shot. When really that was a perfect shot. All right, this is how fast you will wreck your golf swing if you are not working on your alignment. You know, I just happened to film him and saw him do that and thought that that would make a great tip. So everyone is now aware of why I keep harping on everyone about alignment. Okay, this can wreck your whole golf swing. There are so many people out there also that are coming way over the top that I could fix very easily if I just squared them up. You know why that would fix you? Because if you set up square and you kept coming over the top and hitting it into these rocks over here, how long are you going to keep doing that? Probably not long, right? You're not going to keep hitting it into the rocks. So if you don't change your alignment, what are you going to do? You're probably going to start to swing towards your target without me saying one word about it. I remember doing that back, you know, probably 20 years ago had a gentleman, he came out to the, for a lesson. The guy's doing the same thing, you know, got these big, uh, pull, you know, over the top, like that, big pull hooks. So I square them up, and I had to go into the clubhouse for a minute. Okay, so square them up. I said to him, do not, you know, change your alignment. Keep aligning perfectly with that stick. So he started off hitting them over there. By the time I came back from the clubhouse, he's hitting it dead straight. He fixes over the top by himself. I didn't say one word about it. I just squared him up. 
Okay, visually you know where the target is. It's not the rocks. You know, we're going towards the green or maybe the bunker out there. So after a while you see that, you're gonna start to make the move towards that target. So you too will start to self-correct. Okay, so you gotta just trust me on this one, you know? If you are not putting down an alignment stick, you are missing out huge here. I'm telling you, your swing has flaws in it. Very rare if I ever see someone step up and they are perfectly aligned. Like it's probably 1%. You know, that's why I keep putting alignment sticks down when I'm teaching people. Keep trying to tell them to do that. Learn how to put the stick down. It's also a visual thing, okay? Visually, in your mind, you need to know what square looks like. You need to know what it looks like so you can be square here and when you go to play, okay? If you don't know what square looks like, I'm telling you, you will be misaligned on the golf course. And you'll think you're hitting all these bad shots when really some of those are actually probably pretty good, but you have no idea because you're not aligned properly. Okay, <laughs> you know, this is just so simple. And nobody other than me is harping about it. <laughs> it's like, really? Like, you got to be square to the target. So how are we going to do that? Well, it's real simple. So right here, I've already put the stick down and I'm pretty square. There's a pin kind of way down there, uh, so easy way, uh, left side of this bunker in the distance, okay? So that would be my target. So how am I going to do that? Well, easy way to do it is when you come out to the range, you're going to find a nice piece of grass. You take your golf club, you lay it down on the ground, okay? And then you go way back here, and you look at it, and you tap it, and move it, and I gotta just check it. It's a little bit off. So you're tapping it, making sure that it is dead square, or sorry, dead on line to whatever target you want. Then you take your alignment stick right here. You put it on the ground, okay? Kind of eyeball it like this. Kind of make sure that it's looking pretty good here. Okay, I would probably even go back and check it. And then you pick up your club that's where we're going to hit our golf balls, right there. Now, we're dead square, okay? It takes a minute or two. But now, you're going to know exactly where you are hitting the golf ball. So, if you square up, let's say you've been coming over the top, like this, okay? Over the top. I guarantee that when you step up to this stick, and you put your feet square to it, knees, hips, shoulders, and you hit a golf ball, you will hit the ball over here. Righties, lefties over there. Wouldn't that be good information to know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So now you should be trying to fix it. Like I said, I had a student fix it on his own. I never said one word about how to fix it. Because he got probably so sick of hitting it over here, he started doing something to hit it down the line. Okay, so you always put the alignment stick down. If you don't have an alignment stick, use another club in your bag until you can get an alignment stick, all right? That's step one. Like, as soon as you come out here, you've hit a few little wedges to warm up. As soon as you start making full swings, you reach for that stick. That's what I do. And I'm, you know, I've been doing this for 40 years, or probably more. <laughs> okay. So, if I'm still doing it, <laughs> and every other pro in the world is doing it, probably pretty important, right? You saw with the student I just had in four balls, he totally wrecked his golf swing. Because it only took him four balls to start changing his alignment. That's how fast you're going to lose it if you don't know where square is. So you gotta put the stick down. Then, hit a shot. See where it goes, okay? If you're coming over the top, it's gonna start for, I gotta do it right-handed, righty, it's gonna start left, and then it might slice if the face is open to the path. 
pull, pull hook if it's square or closed. Okay, lefties obviously, you're gonna be here. Okay, we're gonna be over the top, hitting it over that way. Okay, you're gonna get the opposite. So you've gotta put the stick down. Now, within about three practice sessions, you're gonna know what square looks like. So now, you're gonna do that when you go play. You're gonna be nice and square out there because it's a visual thing. If you're nice and square here and you go on the golf course, why are you gonna aim way over there? You're not gonna do that. That would look weird to you. If you have been misaligned, that'll look normal to you. Okay, so about three practice sessions of doing this. Now you know what square is. Now you go to the golf course, okay? Maybe what you do out there, because you're gonna be square now, is you take a little note on your scorecard or a piece of paper and write on, write on it what shots you hit for 18 holes. Oh, well, you know what? I, I pulled like 10 tee shots or I pull hook 10 of them. I sliced one, okay, Th you know, three were straight or well, <laughs> yeah 14 <laughs> so you see what i mean then you kind of know oh boy my problem is i'm kind of pulling it that's kind of my tendency oh well i gotta kind of work on curing this over the top you see what i mean then you kind of know what to work on all right so hopefully you see it okay i just thought you know after i filmed this gentleman and <laughs> he cl clearly showed, you know, within four balls, he is going to totally wreck his golf swing. Yeah, everybody else will probably do that too, because you don't want to hit it offline. But, you know, you're trying to <laughs> obviously get the ball to kind of go on your target. So if you don't know how to fix it, you're just going to probably adjust your alignment. Okay? Well, if you do that, you're never fixing anything. And I want you to fix it. And that's what my tips are about. You know, I've got tons of tips on how to cure over the top. So just start to watch a few of those and you'll learn how to fix your over the top swing. But the key, it all starts with the alignment here, okay? This is the most important lesson in golf. Hopefully you now understand that and you're always gonna put that stick down every time you practice. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.